So YouTube, you like the Canik TP9 SFX. Well, I do too, but you know what I don't like? This stupid holster. Why? First, it's a paddle holster, which are flimsy, they break off, uh, they're really easy to rip off your belt. This one has these really weird little slots that are supposed to be able to feed a belt through, but any good tack belt's not going to fit through that crap. Second, retention. You don't have any adjustable retention on this holster. How hard would it have been to put a little retention screw into this, Canik? Hmm? How hard? Third, you hear that? That's crap. So today, it's out with the old and in with the new. All right guys, so today we're checking out a new competition holster for the Canik TP9 SFX. This is a holster that I put in an order for nine days ago with Smoky Mountain Concealment. They are probably the only Kydex holster making place right now that I know of that is making competition holsters for the Canik TP9 SFX without going the full custom route. Uh, they have them advertised right there on their website. So I put in the order for one of these nine days ago and it is already here. They said they had a two to four week lead time on any of their orders. They cranked this thing right out. They even emailed me that day and asked me if I wanted to change one of the options because they had added some new options that weren't available on their website yet and uh, got right to me. I said, yes, I'd love one of those options. They emailed me right back, said awesome, and then it was in the mail two days later. So without further ado, let's crack this thing. Boom, right there. Canik TP9 SFX holster. Let's crack this thing open, see what it's all about. So here's the holster itself. Nice. This is really cool. So, okay, so you got your uh, adjustment knob on your retention right here, which just squeezes a bushing on the back side in between the back there. Also, in the bag, I got the hanger for my competition belt. And included in this, the half inch spacers to offset the holster when you mount this so that you can offset it by a half inch. It's blowing my mind right now how many options there are for uh, attaching this thing. So, let's see how this puppy fits in here. Ooh, that nice Kydex click. Let's try and adjust some retention here. Oh yeah. That gets nice and tight in there. Feels really good, feels solid. All of the edges here are nice and uh, polished down. Feel really good. Yeah. Really responsive retention adjustment here. I like that the, the front edge of this holster is pretty low. Matches up right with the front edge of the ejection port. So when you draw, you have the ability to sweep out without drawing all the way vertical. Really nice. So everything from the blocking to the form, everything is really nice and tight and form fitting. It's really nice. And best part, yeah, you hear that? No nasty loose holster rattle. That's great. Now we'll take and we'll try and hang this thing on my competition rig. So you have three uh, options here of how low your hang is and I'm gonna go with the middle one for now see how I like that I might end up changing my mind and then there is a few different options as far as where you want to attach the hanging plate uh, to the holster plate and I think I'm gonna mount it all the way down um, or as close to the top of the hanging plate as possible which is definitely going to give me a lot more drop than I had but I figure I can always adjust that 
uh, later. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it is, and go from there. All right, so now I have the hanging plate and the holster plate made it up and snugged down. So I'm going to remove uh, this belt hanger and then get it mounted on my belt here. So I think I found the right spot for it to be made it up here on the belt. Okay, so there's the holster and the hanger mounted on the competition belt. So now I'll just try this thing on and see how I like the, the depth and also the angle. You can change the cant of this holster uh, quite a bit actually. Uh, it's like 45 degrees of total swing. So you got uh, some, decent, some decent adjustment on that. So I'm going to back the camera up and try this thing on. Alright, so I think I'm going to change the cant angle. Okay, so I've loosened up the bottom of the two adjustment screws so that I can slide the, the cant a little bit and get this cant set exactly the way that I like. That feels pretty good. I'm going to do a little bit more. feels pretty good right there. Alright, there we go. So we got the, uh, the tension back on both of these hanger screws. I'll just double check it. Nice. Yeah, feels really good. Uh, the tension adjustment really responsive feels really tight it feels really good uh, doesn't feel like there's any movement here in the position of the pistol there's no movement in the cant uh, no vertical movement I feel like it's really sturdy on the belt itself isn't going anywhere. The the overall shape and feel of the Kydex shaping itself is really really good. Alright guys, well that is it. First impressions of this holster from Smoky Mountain Concealment. I really really like it. I've been in the market for a competition holster drop offset holster for the Canik TP9 SFX for quite a while now. There's some local guys here, local Kydex workers, that definitely have the capabilities of making one of these holsters, but I didn't want to give up my gun for a couple of weeks so that they could mold it. Uh, I'm really glad that I found these guys. Somebody had recommended them on the Canic Fanatic forum, and this whole process from their website, the design of their website is very easy, uh, to the ordering process, to uh, the very quick responses that I was getting from them. That option that they emailed me about that I ended up going with is to have a, uh, a red boss hanger for this, this holster. On their website, they only had the option of the black ones. They gave me the option of the red one because they saw that I went with this, uh, this little red backer on the screw here. And uh, I thought that that was pretty cool um, that they would be looking into that and and uh, tell me that that was an option, same price. Really cool on their part, I feel. I can't wait to take this thing out to the range and to try it in action and to take it to competition. I really think that this is, uh, this is a great holster for the money. Just so that you guys know, this is not at all a paid video or paid endorsement. Uh, they didn't give me this. I purchased this from them. And just the way that you see this with all of the options, 
costed $119. A really good deal uh, and great buy, especially considering that it has the boss hanger and stainless steel parts and stuff like that. I, I, I really couldn't be happier with this whole experience. So I just like to advocate for companies that are out there doing good things, especially small companies and family owned businesses. And so I would recommend to everybody out there, check out Smoky Mountain Concealment. I'll leave a link in the description to their website, especially if you're in the market for a competition holster for your Canik TP9 SFX. There's not many options out there, and these guys are great. So go show them some love, go to their website, order these holsters from them. They're really, really good quality stuff. And yeah, like I said, I can't wait to take this thing out to the range here in the next couple of days. If you're not already, hit the subscribe link up above me here, and then click the little bell icon so you can be apprised when we come out with new videos. I am going to be changing and customizing this, this Canik TP9 SFX here in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for those videos. Until next time. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Make it a great day. Peace out.